This is the women's 100 meter Olympic final. The Olympic Games are all about facing off against the best competitors from countries all over the world. But what happens when the best athletes in a particular sport all come from the same country? Will Elaine Thompson's heroes' hopes for Olympic glory be dashed by her own teammate, the fastest living woman on earth? Wait for it. Hello, welcome to Wait For It. I'm Lisanne de Witte and I can't wait to race with you through the most epic stories in Olympic history. My specialty is the 400 meter. While that might sound like a pretty long way, in athletics it's considered a sprint. And sprinting has been part of the Olympics since day one. Women first laced off their track shoes in Amsterdam 1928. Over the years, many amazing women dashed their way into history. Like in 1948, when my fellow Dutch woman, Fanny Blankerskoen, shocked London by taking home four golds, including the 100 meter. Well done, Fanny Blankerskoen. 20 years later, American Wyomi Atiyah surged to victory, making her the first person ever to win back-to-back -back Olympic titles in the 100 meter. Fast forward another 20 years to Seoul. Florence Griffith Joyner dashed to the gold, also setting an Olympic record in the 100 meter, 10.62 seconds. Flojo, as she was affectionately known, became the fastest woman who ever lived, and even tacked on two other golds in Seoul, 200 meters and the 400 meter relay. Four years after that historic performance, a little girl was born in the Jamaican farming community of Banana Ground. As time marched on, Flojo's 100 meter Olympic record was stuck around. But nobody had been able to win gold in both 100 and 200 meter races in consecutive Olympic Games. Set. By 2016, that little girl from Banana Ground was now a sprint queen herself. Elaine lit up the track in Rio, striking gold in both races. Now, Elaine could become the first woman to win gold in both events in back-to-back -back Olympics. Will Elaine successfully defend her titles and write a new page in Olympic history? Eight paths converge for this chance of glory and history. Wait for it. You really can't get a more straightforward event than sprinting. It's just you, your competition, and the clock. And in the tiny nation of Jamaica, that competition is fierce. But in a country full of record-setting sprinters, Elaine wasn't burning up the track. Luckily, a legendary coach saw her potential and with his help, Elaine found her footing and became one of the top sprinters in the world. In Tokyo 2020, Elaine's main competition are fellow Jamaicans, Sharika Jackson and Shelly-Ann Fraser-Price. Ever since Flojo's untimely passing in 1998, sprinters had been vying for the title of fastest living woman. And just a month before Tokyo, that title was won by Fraser Price. And she was looking to make history of her own by winning gold for the third time in the 100 meter after victories in Beijing 2008 and London 2012. Will Elaine be able to stall Shelly Ann's bid for gold and defend her own 100 meter title? Shelly Ann Fraser Price got away well, but now Elaine Thompson coming into a running, but look at Price. Wait for it. Elaine almost didn't even make it to Tokyo at all. She'd been battling another opponent since Rio. Her Achilles tendon. It wasn't exactly up to speed when the 2020 Olympic trials rolled around. 
Despite not being 100%, when such a rare, record-breaking opportunity presents itself, no athlete is going to let that pain stop them from competing. Only the top three finishers would make it to Tokyo. Elaine squeaked by, finishing third. With all of the hurdles Elaine had to jump over just to get there, will she stumble and watch Shelly Ann race off with her third gold? Or will she triumph in the long run? It's a clean start. Shelly Ann Fraser Price got away well, but now Elaine Thompson coming into a running, but look at Price. They're side by side, they're neck and neck. But it's Elaine Thompson Hera oh! who successfully defends her Olympic title. And look at the time. A new Olympic record. Fraser Price to the silver. Looks like her Achilles didn't slow Elaine down. Not only did she break Flojo's Olympic record, now the sprint queen was the fastest woman alive. One gold down, but could she set yet another record and run away with gold in the 200? Of course she did, becoming the first woman ever to win both sprints in consecutive Olympics. And she still had one more shot, out of the blocks, to add to her medal count. Elaine teamed up with Fraser Price and Jackson in the 4 100 meter relay and added yet another gold to her collection. I've been through so much. Oh my God, I'm speechless. The only other person to equal Elaine's amazing accomplishment of winning the 100 and 200 meter sprints in consecutive Olympics is fellow Jamaican Usain Bolt. that you may know where you come from, but there's no limit to how far and fast you can go. We have many more incredible Olympic stories to share with you. You'll just have to wait for it. And get a straight more... Okay, do it again. <laughs>